So we're back again with now another NBA 2K20 My Team gameplay, and I'm hyped for this one. I say that a lot, hey. <laughs> but anyway, the reason I'm hyped is because yesterday they decided to release the Campus Legends promo, and this one's really nice because there was two Galaxy Opals in the packs being Carmelo Anthony and Magic Johnsons, which are two favorites every year in 2K. And then there's also four really good pink diamonds, a diamond, two diamonds actually, a couple of Amis, and also some rubies. So I did a pack opening, we didn't really get too much, but then I was able to buy the players and we completed the set. We've got every single player and we also got the Carl Anthony Towns for redeeming and collecting it all and locking it in and I do this with pretty much every single promo that comes out I create a team of every single card and do a gameplay with them so this is the team right here you can see it is pretty fire it's kind of weird because we have Jimmer at the two look at those eyes bro what, what do you think he's been up to <laughs> anyway we've got Magic at the one Jimmer Carmelo Danny Manning and then also Carl Anthony Towns so I did a gameplay on this cat but he's by far the best center in the game because he has a 97.3 ball and 86 ball handling also 88 speed with ball and 89 speed by far the best and i haven't even really used this mellow yet but he looks really good because he's got 98 three ball and like really good speed literally every single stat on this car is good then magic looks insane too because he's six foot nine at the point guard position with a 92 three 90 driving dunk really good ball handling 96 speed as well i think i'm gonna put a short in to make that better and look at those mental stats as well and then we've got jay williams eric pascal christian leitner ralph sampson dante divincenzo so, the Hill Oka for Jarrett Culver, which is actually a really weird one. I only just noticed he can play small forward and point guard. You don't see that too often, but he's also six foot six. And then we've got Greg Oden as well. Bro, his face is kind of tripping out as well. <laughs> but hey, it's time to find a shoe for this magic. Actually, yeah, I'm doing it. I pulled this hardened shoe today. So I'm actually going to put it on him and it's going to make him look so much better because now his three ball goes up to a 95 and he gets 93 driving dunk. They're the two main reasons I did this. And also with my coach, that three goes up to a 99. So yes, this is the Campus Legends squad. It looks super nice and I'm expecting to get some wins. It might be weird with Gemma at the two, but we'll see how it goes. And we're 9-0 right now, so hopefully we can get a couple wins. Without further ado, let's get into the first game. So we've found our first opponent and... Wait, which one? Oh, that's his... Oh my word, that's literally my old team. <laughs> that is 100% exactly the team I was rocking with yesterday. So this is going to be a good game. So we are actually going against a very tough team. And I'm actually happy about that because it's the first time in a long time that we have. So Danny Manning, he actually seems really, really nice. And going up here, getting the dunk straight away. So I don't know, the player I'm probably most nervous about is definitely this Magic Johnson because I, I just think he should be really good. Anyway, Mello, 4-3, his first shows a green. Okay, Danny Manning is probably our best player so far in this game, which is really weird to say. Jimmer though, taking it inside, giving it to Cat. Cat, post-rising AK. Oh, Danny with the steal. Let's give it to Jimmer. Jimmer, don't you dare get blocked. He's so well. Oh, I thought he was going to throw it down. Oh, my. Clear pa What? I'm sorry. What? Oh, Magic, though. Gets that steal. That's what we needed to see. That's that big body and that lane. The funny thing is, is literally me playing with this team right now. It's just making me miss Ben Simmons. So let's go to the hop step here. And his Ben Simmons plays great defense. Luckily, we pulled down that rebound. Let's give it back out to Danny with his base 11 release. He's not the greatest on the releases, but we luckily get bailed out. So Magic for his free throws. I like it. Give me that. Yeah, we get a steal. And then let's pull the three straight after. Magic hits it. Let's go. I want Jimmer to do something. Jimmer's the one that I was kind of scared about having in the team right now. And you can see why. Because he's just kind of getting exposed with his height. But let's kick it out to him here. Kick it back to Melo. And Melo going against KD, which is his exact comparison in the game right now. And we kind of have Jimmer for a second. Not a bad shot. Jimmer hits, baby. Oh, that is great defense. And Cap pulls it down. That's the one thing is I'd replace... There's a dog. What I was saying is I replaced Kareem with Carl Anthony Towns. And so far, I'm very happy I did. Magic, again, misses that one. Okay, that's a bit of an L right there. That's just where I wish he had a Hall of Fame range extender. But the thing I have to remember, I replaced him with Giannis. And Giannis wouldn't have made that either. So a little bit frustrating that we missed that shot. But Jimmer, he's the one that won't miss that shot if we're actually able to get it off. But so far, he's playing pretty good D. Not good enough. Melo just gets me a steal while I was doing my subs. And Melo, all the way, tough one. He gets it. Oh, that's good defense too. And Kat's there for the rebound. And you know who I see in the corner? I see Jimmer Fredette, 4-3, another green. And it looks like he's holding the ball here for the final shot. So we need to stop. And it's looking like pretty good de- Whoa, magic. 
Magic with the insane defense. But now it's a little bit scary because I have my bench on the floor. So I don't know how this is going to go with Godfrey Odin and already we're getting exposed. Like, who was that? Um, That's Eric Pascal. Oh no, that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's Eric Pascal. And I don't know how I feel about this. We've got DiVincenzo, we've got Eric again. Wide open here. Probably not gonna, oh, he did make it. I don't know how long we can play Jay Williams for just because his Ben Simmons is destroying me right now. Give me it to Greg. And that's just not working. The bench is definitely where we're having issues. But, oh, we should have had that. We really should have had that. That's a bad shot there, but he did gets it with the bad release. So, Jay Williams, I need you to turn up. You're one of the diamonds on this team. He should be able to dunk, and he does. Yeah, I think it's pretty much just going to be starters versus starters right now. Because so far, it's not going great. But Jay hits that one. Oh, give me that. Yep, Jay Williams again, back to back. It was a bad release. And that's on me that I missed that. Probably going to get another steal here. I guess if he passes it inside... I just missed it, unfortunately. And he gives it two. Okay, that was great. Great defense. Christian Leighton is there. And we're going to kick it to Jay once again. Let's give it to Greg inside. Dunking. DiVincenzo with the board. And who do I see? Christian Leighton, maybe? I think he has bad... Oh, it's definitely not bad. Whoa. That is... Greg Odin, I see you. I see you on that defensive end. What about Eric on this one? Kicking it back to Jay. Jay has the speed, which is what I like to see. So let's go down. Hop step to drag him in. Pull the three again. The bench is popping off. As soon as I said that these guys were doing well, they have done so badly since. Like, so badly. Dante, Demon, Chenzo. I think that's how you say it. We hit. Uh-oh. We've got a huge mismatch there. We'll give him that, actually, because he had a wide open three with Ben Simmons. So I'm fine with that. We're up by 11. And it should be a little bit more, but I have just called my starters on, so that should be nice for us. Let's kick it back out here. Not the greatest of passes, but Eric on the inside. Free throws and one, baby. Man, I'm liking this Eric Pascal. He's actually really good. And now that I've got my starters on, it just makes me feel so much better because look at that. Like, we can just, we can actually shoot that shot, which is what I love. Oh, give me that steal. Magic, just take it all the way on him. What was that? I've got no idea, but maybe, no, he's going to pull that. There's four seconds left. He's here. Okay, you know what time it is. It's Jimmer time. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. One second left. Jimmer from half court. Ba oh, so I know I might be chasing this game and I know that that's bad, but the whole thing is my opponent, he actually doesn't have a bench, so I don't feel bad. And I do now have Ralph Sampson on the floor for us. Somehow Melo was able to get that. Let's give it to Magic. Take it on Ben and look at the defense that Ben Simmons is playing on us, but it's just not good enough because we can kick it out. Out, take it with the right hand and then I think I saw Ralph for a sec what am I doing oh my oh my let's chill let's pass it out let's pass it around going up missing that it's fine because we get the board and then Melo might be open here we've only got 10 seconds left but that shot is Melo every day okay I should get a three here because he's just not playing defense but magic dude I need you to make that with a 99-3 Jimmer though, he gets that steal. That's what I like to see. And Jimmer, can you take it all the way? Or is Kevin Durant just going to lock you up? It certainly looks like he's locking us up right now. No, but no, we no, might no. have magic for a second here. Taking it with the right. Jimmer in the corner. Can we just catch and shoot that? Jimmer hits it again. Oh yeah, good defense. We get another stop. And Melo gets his second rebound. What about Jimmer again? Should we just take it on the inside? This He finished. Jimmer with the perfect defense there. Somehow we don't get that rebound. We just didn't even jump. And okay. I think the most surprising card for me right now is definitely this Jimmer Fredan. I thought he was going to be so bad for us, but he's actually playing really well. Back out to Melo here. He saw that pass, but what he doesn't see is the drive. And I'm sure you already knew this, but Melo's free throw release is nice. So it's only a 15 point game. And especially when I'm doing things like that, I'm kind of scared. And he's going to get blocked there by Ralph Sampson. Let's go. Kicking it to Magic here. Taking it all the way. Magic going to the line. And the squad is looking a little bit different right now, but I actually have Jack. Eric Culver, who is a six foot six point guard at point guard right now. And look at the defense that our team plays. And Christian, oh wow, 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 wow. Give me the board, give me the board. Carl Anthony Towns is out there too. So that just means it's pretty much a GG. You wanna know why? Because we can do that move, take that three and make it. What? It was only a two, but still. That is just a great rebound. An absolute brilliant rebound. And let's try and take some, oh, Dante in the corner. Four, three. Wow, we needed that. But we get the steal here. We should get the steal. Yes, we do. Cut underneath. Finish your playoff. I feel like this Jared Culver is definitely a really good budget card because he's six foot six, and that's okay. That was not good, Angus. Try and get back here, Cat, and get the block. No, you guys probably know me. I choke a lot, so 
We need, oh, oh, we've got that three. I was not going to take that, but this is a card I'm getting on my budget spot for sure. Yeah, it's this Eric Pascal that I'm definitely getting on the team. DiVincenzo was kind of open for a second there, but I just did a terrible pass. Cat in the corner though, bad release. It's still in. Culver with the steal. Can he take the three? No, no, let's just run it up. Throw up the lob. Cat finishes it. And we get an inbound steal straight after with Culver. Pump faking the first, getting blocked on the second. Back out to Cat for two. It's only a two and he's going to, okay, fine. Jared Culver this time with a damn. Oh, he gets another inbound steal for me. What about the shot? <laughs> I like this card. Another steal. Oh, we should have had that. If he had Hall of Fame Interceptor, for sure we'd be able to get that. And he's going to miss that three. Cat again is on the rebounds. And I see Eric. That's not the greatest of passes because he could have got it with KD. But taking it down outside. I like that shot every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kick it out. What a dime, bro. I like this card a lot. And we get another steal with him. Oh my, like <laughs> he's a beast. And okay, he didn't get the rebound. He turned, oh, he, he forced a turnover. Culver is a beast. That's one thing I can say. And I want to try a three. <sighs> wow. So I've got Ralph Sampson and Jahil Okafor on the floor right now. I want to try and score with all of them. And I'm not sure if that's going to work. We score with Jahil and we pull down a rebound with Ralph Sampson. It's going to be hard for me to score with him especially because he doesn't want to run inside, but he wants a three, a real deep one. Dude, if he made that. Let's just call a pick and fade with him and see how this goes, because this is probably more of the plays of what I should be doing. 74 three ball, misses. If he runs up the four just a bit quicker, we will get a score here. We got it. And after all of that, now I do have my starters on the floor. So Danny Matting is here. He's going to pass it out, but look at that defense. Look at that closeout that Cat ended up having. Danny Maddox with the insane defensive play. And let's switch back. Let's continue this defense. That's going to be a shot clock violation after that. You got to remember, I'm using some rubies and only diamonds and going against an absolute god squad right now. So I'm so happy. Magic with the hook. Come on, show me. Show me why I should have kept Kareem over, over Kat. <laughs> I mean, that's his bread and butter, but he missed it straight up. We still haven't got a three with, uh, with Magic. But Jim is still popping off. Let's give it to Mello. Let's see what he can do for me. A little snatchback. I like it. <laughs> this card's insane. Give me that. Oh, wow. We actually didn't get that, but Mello gets it for me. Kick it to Magic. We haven't got a three with him yet. Can we change that with the contested? It's not going to happen, but we win by 39 points. And looking at the stats, the top scorer for us was actually Jim Fredette. And he played really well in 11 minutes with 15 points, one assist, one steal, one turnover, shooting six of eight. I was really impressed with this card. I was also really impressed with Melo because he was just able to do everything and really good in those catch and shoot situations. Magic Johnson was really good on the defensive end. Like you guys saw what he was able to do. Eric Pascal, I was so proud of him. He did so well for us. Carl Anthony Towns just did his thing. Like look at those stats. They're crazy good. I wasn't even looking at his stats when I said that. But yeah, he got eight boards for us, but look at Jarrett Culver. Seven points, one rebound, five assists, four steals. Like, that's crazy. DiVincenzo with six, like Jay Williams with five, Christian Leitner with five, Danny Manning with four, Ralph Sampson with two, Jahil Okafor with two, Greg Odin with two as well. Like, everyone scored, everyone put in the work, and I wasn't disappointed with one single player at all. Also, not to mention, we shut down this Kareem. He had eight turnovers, and like, we shut down his Ben Simmons too. We absolutely destroyed this man, and that shows you all I can beat God squads. So there we go. We're now 10 and 0. And I am so happy with the way that the Campus Legends squad played for us. If I had to recommend the players, I'd say Christian Leitner is one of the best ones. If you're running on a budget, this Jared Culver is a must. Eric Pascal is also a must. Danny Manning, also a must. And then after that, it's pretty much just up to you. If you have enough MT to be able to get Magic, Mellow, then I do recommend them. Because Carl Anthony Towns is literally the best center in the game. I didn't even really try to go off with him in that gameplay, just because I posted one just about him yesterday. This was just all based around the Campus Legends team and they popped off. So yeah, there's not really much else to say. I'm happy with this video and I hope you guys enjoyed too. I went against a good team. We destroyed and the team played so well. So I hope you enjoyed. We've been on the grind for the videos and Zion's Legacy should be out tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. I'm really hyped to record it and I'm going on a camping trip right now. So having a lot of fun. Don't worry, there's only going to be like eight people there. So it's all good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.